Hey guys, what's going on? Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. I'll be doing a full review on a fragrance that I have done uh, in Asian impression like six months back, some six months or seven months back, and that was not the bottle that I owned. The bottle was borrowed from my brother, brother Tutu, Tutu Bhai, my elder brother, my respect elder brother. Hi brother, how are you? <laughs> and the fragrance actually, first sniff was done thanks to courtesy of brother Shahan, uh, Shahan Bhai. He brought this fragrance. I think we had a meetup and study in enterprise. Uh, when they were at Gulshan, Gulshan uh, DCC market. So he brought it along and then I sniffed it. I was like blown away. And the next day we had seen that fragrance, me and Tutu Bhai, we said the, seen this in I think Momita Rokomari and Bonani UAE market. And immediately my brother bought it. That time it was $75. I bought this recently. And uh, I think lucky me. Okay, that's all I'll say. I'll show you the full rep uh, presentation. I'll tell you where it stands in comparison with the EDT and EDP, which are also owned by me. And uh, I'll tell you who is it for, uh, when to wear it, performance, stuff like that. So first of all, uh, let me show you the box very quickly. This is the box EDP, 100 mil. It's called Exclusive Edition. The one, Royal Knights. Royal Knights, yes. And yes, made in UK. There's a sticker up there. It's, it doesn't come with the box. It, it's usually on the... Uh, plastic but I took it off I put it here because it looks really nice it says Dolce & Gabbana and then batch code and barcode and stuff nothing really special with the box uh, maybe for this exclusive edition they could have made like a cardboard box that would be like something like Lai Yuquam or Tom Ford easily could give that extra edge because it's pricey and uh, I think it comes only in one size 100 mil correct me if I'm wrong uh, it used to be available in um, Dubai solely it was in I think I saw first time Mark introduced Rob08 and uh, he got it from uh, duty free and he paid for about 120 150 US dollars it's expensive here's the bottle very elegant looking heavy bottle very heavy I think this is even comparison to the one EDP this is heavier because of the cap this cap is really heavy it has a golden amber color Arabic writing Dolce & Gabbana same like the box bottom is your sticker and stuff nothing much at the back which is why I like it because if you do too much to a bottle it loses its appeal you know so it looks really really posh with that golden so you take it off it's not fit but these uh, caps I don't trust because the bottle is heavy so always pick it up place it on your hand on your palm and then take it off much easier very heavy golden but plastic okay this feels like metal but it's plastic you can sniff it it has a golden atomizer with a black like it's like golden spray with a black anomizer inside. So how does it spray? It shoots nice. Okay, bam, bam. Not on the best, but it's, whew, you don't need much of this, all right? So for the bottle presentation, class A, A class, sir. For the bottle itself, it's 10. So H, uh, okay, first of all, who is it for? Unisex. Okay, I say right there. This one is for both genders, men and women, both can wear it. H mature age 20 25 and up school kids youngsters teenagers this could be a little bit more serious for them okay season wise uh i would say this is colder weather perfect but since this made it for uae uae doesn't have that much of a winter time or cooler time like the west or europe uh, i so i suspect this uh, fragrance actually is built for hotter weather also but night time when it's a little bit cool it's not supremely hot you'll be choking if you're wearing this okay so i suggest don't wear this in the summer hot days one or supremely hot nights when you're sweating and it's kind of yucky and you're going for clubbing and stuff maybe this is not the best one maybe you have better alternatives so cooler nights night time and cooler summer nights those two times uh also i think it's great for formal occasion so price for this as i told you uh it used to be $150 or so something like that. And uh, now I bought this for $75, US dollars, give or take. It sometimes even if you pay 80, take it. If you see for $80, it's worth that buck. So I would say, how to describe this? I would say in a word or in a sen like a small sentence, I would say, this is the niche version of the one Dolce & Gabbana. Why do I say that? The ingredients in this, it's superb. Let me tell you, how I describe this. This is the original EDT, right? The original EDT has a beautiful grapefruit blast, sweet fruity notes, tobacco, like a cigar feel. Then it has also the boozy feel. It has the amber, those things, right? When you sniff it, 
it's very sweet it's very beautiful sweet and it's one of the most successful fragrances in the community ladies love this dna that's why they made one more layer let's say they made it more intense didn't make it beast mode which is okay but it's a better performer in the edp i reviewed this i think there's a perfection in a bottle 10 out of 10 it's selling like hot cake in bangladesh i do decanting people finish my bottle there's my second bottle i'll always have this bottle in my collection it's an easy it's just let's just say it's one of the most easiest fragrance to be liked if you're wearing it and you're just going out at night time partying clubbing ladies dig this stuff it's orgasmic imagine they put one more layer above those two that's where you get the one royal knight not everybody would appreciate it not everybody would think it's as special as the one edp let me tell you let me be honest why because sometimes teenagers they don't like the note of spicy notes they don't like oud they don't like uh, notes like saffron they don't like notes like dates you know like like we say kurma okay kurma means dates like kejur <laughs> so if you do think those notes are a bit dark yes it gives the darker edge to this one um it feels almost like it has that mix of cardamom cloves and sweet cinnamon none of them are super spicy like black pepper or pink pepper not as exotic as pink pepper not as flirty but is very up class and heavy it's not as skanky so it's right amount it's just the right amount of amber uh, sweetness the fruitiness uh, spices all those things touch of wood somewhere maybe it's not real wood it doesn't smell like skanky so it's somewhere between the skanky you know those cambodian wood indian wood like strong wood cambodian is not skanky but the indian woods like bobert line it's not there it's not super soft that is not present this is pretty potent okay it lasts on me for a very long time but it's not the beast i would say somewhere 7.5 would be great to 8 if you're wearing it at the right time so it lasts on you pretty good on me i easily get 6 hours to 7 projection first hour is very strong you get like maybe a beast mode no sir this is more like nice sort of a bubble around you two feet around you you'll be walking with the scent bubble and you'll be very confident because of the spicy kicks it has that edge the one you already orgasmic imagine and you have wearing a suit of awesomeness over you okay if you're going for overseas trips for one week let's say convention or some sort of a you're gonna have like a training with a team or something you took your suit take this with you decant with you spray this before you enter the boardroom meeting okay or your presentation you will be confident okay this smells like money just like many other my money smelling fragrance this smells very rich it smells like a dubai shack or arab shack with very expensive cars uh, is there any leather in this i have this in my hand for some time no there's no leather it would be great it had just that bit of leather in it it would become like almost like tuscan leather side but no i am grateful for what i have so i think this is done for niche people uh, what do I mean by niche people? Sorry, I need a little bit of sip of 7-Up. Um, uh, sorry about that. Okay, so this is for people with mature nose. If you're looking for something sweet, it's going to garner your compliments, but you don't want to be so obvious like everybody's wearing this. No, people won't recognize it. They'll be like, I know this scent-ish, but I don't know this exactly. Yes, that's right. That's where you are uncommon. Not everybody owns this. Not everybody has this. But versatility wise, it takes a little bit heat. Supremely hot condition, you cannot wear it. It will pick you up a lot, a lot, of, a lot of compliments. If you're dating an educated woman, an educated woman who already is working, established, and she has met your nose, and she likes quality stuff in life, try to impress her with this, like a, she's a lawyer. If you're wearing this, she will take you very seriously. I think I made my point clear. Uh, is it as orgasmic as uh, the one EDP, like you're trying to get into someone's pants bad things to say but yeah that's the truth people try that <laughs> is it as orgasmic as this in this no this is delicious this is nice it's like almost like a persian egyptian treat but with a touch of uh, sophistication this is very very obvious what it wants it's it wants romance this one wants respect okay so yes overall remark longevity let's be fair for all our all over the world i'll give this like 7.5 to 8 projection 7 uh smell wise in my book perfect enough then because this is the niche version of the one and i love the one but 
if I would suggest to you people, I think this is somewhere in the middle of the street because not everybody might find this very appealing because the, because of those cardamom serious notes, the date note, the hint of oud, not everybody loves those, right? So it's middle of the road for the scent for all of you out there, all right? Uh, season, again, colder weather, colder nights, uh, cooler summer nights, night time, uniqueness. It has some uniqueness, but uh, if you think of the one, but if you think of overall, it's not that unique. I'll say like, let's say six. Uh, overall rating for this, I would say, um, how would I rate it? This for me, it's it's a niche fragrance, okay? Uh, why am I calling it niche fragrance? Because this is as good as it gets in this vein. So I'll give it perfect 10 out of 10, but, but for everyone out there, I know you guys are different. You guys look for something as a recommendation, a short thing. This is not a short thing. This is more of a fragrance you pick for yourself, for your own satisfaction. If you have that 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 choice you like to pick a very expensive coffee you just want to have the best uh, let's say you are looking for something that no one is wearing if you're looking for something that is going to be an exclusive edition this is an exclusive edition if you're a collector for collectors awesome uh, one other category I would say this is a uh, let me sniff it one last time when I sniff it I think this fragrance is built for people uh, who just want to have, uh, who were already accomplished, established in life. Uh, maybe it'll sound like bullshitting and stuff, but it smells like successful people. If you want to give that vibe, even if you want to like fake it, rock some of this on, wearing a suit and stuff, go out there, people will definitely respect you, okay? It is awesome fragrance, okay? So overall remark for all people out there, I'll give this 8 out of 10, to be fair. In my book, this is 10. So how do I rate all three now? Let me show you the ranking. Excuse me, all three are fantastic. Like all of them are good. But the sport and the one sport, not my favorite, doesn't last. The one gentleman, not my stuff. So I'm just gonna have these three. So ranking wise, I'll put this number one now. I love this so much because yes, it's easier to wear. You can throw this on anytime. It's more versatile, it's more wearable, it's more safer. If I put this on, let's say I got stuck in a lift <laughs> and there's some sort of ladies inside. They are going to just have reaction like they will look at you and smile. Okay. So my recommendation number one, if you want to go the safest, go with this. Okay. This one lasts much longer. Just carry atomizer with you if you're going for night out. That's all. But performance wise, amazing. But if you just want to like go second, I would say recommendation wise, I'll go this one second. Third one, definitely this is always a classic, but this one projects really good for a shorter period of time. So that's my review overall. 8 out of 10 for exclusive edition for you, all of you out there in my book. Perfect 10 out of 10. So that's my review for review of the one Royal Knights exclusive edition from Dubai. Take care guys. I'll be reviewing some more new fragrances very soon. Bye-bye.